Another day, another story. I, 27F, split from my ST Bex husband, 27M, three months ago on the day our son was born. This is because I am ginger, my husband is blonde but our baby came out with dark hair. He freaked out in the delivery room and his behavior got him kicked out the hospital. I had to beg him to do a paternity test and he finally agreed after a month, and it proved that I didn't cheat. We had been together since we were 13 so I was devastated and all I wanted was him back, but I've come to my senses and decided that someone who believes that school-level Punnett squares are the be-all and end-all of biological inheritance is not the type of person I want to be with. I was also treated like crap by everyone but my older brother, Alex, while we were waiting for the results because they all thought I had cheated. It was a horrible experience and as a result, I've lost many friends and family members. Since the results came back, my ex has been begging me to get back with him. I moved in with Alex after we split, and he comes almost every day to beg me to get back with him. My in-laws have also been harassing me too especially my mill who has come over four times in the past week asking me to forgive her son and to let God back into my heart. I used to be a Christian and so are all my in-laws and my family, but how I was treated when my baby was born made me lose faith fast. The whole church community treated me like trash during this whole ordeal and it made me want nothing to do with them anymore and I don't want to raise my son in that sort of community. Yesterday, my mill turned up to Alex's when he wasn't here, and she had the pastor from the church I used to attend with them. They practically forced their way in, and I was being berated like a child for not forgiving my ex's lapse in judgment. The pastor basically sat there and said I would be going to hell if I didn't take my ex back. I excused myself to use the bathroom and called the police. Pastor and mill were escorted out. Now, I'm being harassed on social media and being called and texted by literally everyone that knows both me and my ex and his family. They're calling me the ah for going nuclear and calling the police on two people who weren't being threatening and they're demanding that I apologize immediately. I'm starting to feel bad now because I know they care in their own twisted way and I shouldn't have gone nuclear on them. Aita? Thank you, and having you here was a privilege to me. Please support the channel by subscribing.